actually used a liquid liner and this is what I got muddy situation we got going on hello guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video i'm going to be testing out some tiktok makeup hacks so you don't have to i'm going to help you save some time i'm going to be sharing some hacks that i have already tried over on my tiktok which if you would like to follow it is the same username as my instagram which is judy dot U U U U U D Y five U's because four U's, three U's, two U's were all taken. So it is Judy. You can follow me there. I have tried a lot of makeup hacks. I stitch a lot of them. I think it's just really fun to try out different techniques and see what works and what I can apply into my routine. So all of these hacks I have tried before, I'm kind of just giving you a thorough review on all of them and what I would change and who I would recommend these hacks to. So yeah, if you guys will like to see some TikTok hacks in action and my review on them, then please continue watching. All right, you guys, so let's hop into all of the TikTok makeup hacks that I have tried so far. We're gonna start off with this viral one. It's like a blush technique. Pretty much what you do is you take a red lipstick and you apply that to your cheeks, your nose, your forehead, and then you go in with your cream contour, and then you go in with your concealer foundation powder. Pretty much the end result so it's going to give you blush from within type of look and I have tried this over on my TikTok and I actually wore this hack in a video it was the video where I was talking about drugstore product that worked like high-end so I had this underneath my makeup but my critique on this hack is First, I do think the lipstick is a little bit gimmicky. I think you can just go ahead and use like a red liquid blush that will probably blend out a little bit more and it probably wouldn't stain your cheeks since you're using a red lipstick. But of course, it's TikTok. Some things are going to be quite clickbait and I do think the red lipstick is quite clickbaity. But I guess if you have a small collection, then maybe you don't have a red blush and you have a red lipstick, then this would work. And also, I'm not going to apply it to my forehead because when I applied it to my forehead the first time, I just felt like it looked really, really odd. I just looked really red, and I think because I am quite golden and olive, the red just doesn't look good. So we're just going to apply this to the cheeks and the nose, not the forehead. So that would be my sort of review on this hack. I'm gonna go in with my solo lipstick from ColourPop. This is a Velvet Blur lipstick. Um, so it's like a sort of matte finish, but I'm gonna apply it here. I'm gonna apply a little bit higher just because I noticed that when I do blend this out, I can drag it quite low and I don't want it too low. So we're just going to apply this. And then using the ColourPop F32 brush to blend this out, we're just going to stipple this product in. For some reason, this is looking a little patchy. I used the same lipstick in my TikTok that I did for this hack, and it wasn't patchy. It actually blended really well. I'm not sure why. It looks quite patchy today. I'm just gonna add a little bit more to this area because that's where it's looking a little bit patchy. And then she will go in with cream contour. So I'm gonna take my concealer in a darker shade. This is from ColourPop. It's their Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Creamy Concealer in the shade Dark ADN. And this has been sort of my cream contour product as of recently. I don't cream contour often, uh, but a lot of people on TikTok do. So when I do these hacks, this is what I'm using. I'm just gonna take a little bit because I feel like I can get a little carried away with this just being very careful and still being quite precise with it she also takes the contour to her nose and her forehead as well but i'm not going to do that because again i just don't like products on my forehead it makes my forehead look weird so i believe she goes in with concealer and then foundation so i do have a concealer hack that i want to share with you guys this is it here 
Um, so pretty much this girl, she puts her liquid foundation first and she blends it out with her finger. Then she'll go in with like a pot concealer, apply that with a brush, blend that out with her finger, and then she'll dab on some translucent powder. And this is going to just, you know, cover up your dark circles. You are layering a lot of product underneath there. And I also tried this out as well really recently. And I actually really like the outcome of it. Like it doesn't look so cakey when you apply it on your eyes, considering you're putting like foundation and a concealer and powder uh, and I feel like it does cover really well so we're gonna do this with this face on so I'm gonna go in with my Colourpop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid foundation in the shade Light 70W and I'll do it on one eye I guess it's kind of hard to see my dark circles with this muddy muddy situation we got going on um, so I'm gonna just blend it underneath my eyes like this with my ring finger is there a reason why we don't put foundation underneath our eyes though? Is it because it's too like strong for a delicate area? Because I mean, look at that. That covers really nicely and it kind of makes the blush look a little bit better as well. Um, but if you guys know the reason why, I would love to know. Let me know. And then she goes in with a pot concealer. I only have this palette from NYX that's in a palette. This is the Color Correcting Concealer. And I'm going to take a bit of this like salmony shade and a bit of the skin tone shade and kind of just mix it together. I'm mainly going to focus it over here where I have that darkness. I'm just going to pat that in with my brush, kind of doing a circle shape. My under eyes look a lot brighter, they look smooth, concealed, there's not much darkness. I really like this technique. I need to do it more often, but it's sometimes hard to apply these techniques into your routine when you're just so used to doing what you do every day. Um, but this is definitely a technique that I like and I want to continue doing because I think the coverage is a lot more effective than if I just went in with just one concealer, which is, you know, duh, because I'm going in with two products. But I'm not going to set it down yet because I want to do my foundation first. So that was the first two steps of the concealer hack. I'm just going to go ahead and do the other eye now. But all right, we're just gonna go in with our foundation now and we're just gonna apply this all over our face. But today I'm gonna use my OWL foundation blurring brush to blend it out. I feel like if I was to use the sponge, it would just lift up the red blush. But now that my foundation is on and the redness is kind of down, I don't know, it just looks like I had a lot of redness underneath my skin and I couldn't cover it up and I just look a little I look a little odd, but anyway, we're moving on. I'm just going to finish off that concealer hack. She takes her um, loose powder on a brush. I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Honey. And then she just likes to tap. And then flick it away. And same on the other eye. Tap it in. And then flick it away. And I'm just going to quickly go ahead and set my face in with my Bite Beauty Change Maker Press Powder. Alright, so now I'm just going to go ahead and do my brows and do a simple eye look since I don't have any TikTok makeup hacks for these steps. Alright, so brows are now on and I also just applied a little bit of eyeshadow. It's just one color all over my lids, but we have an eyeliner hack. It's this one over here. Pretty much what this girl does, she takes her black liquid liner and she coats the edge of a triangle sponge and she just sweeps it along her lash line and it gives her a very beautiful wing. I have also tried this technique out and my little critique on this technique is that it does work but for me personally I wouldn't rely on this to give me my wing because first off when you apply the liquid liner onto your sponge I don't know if it's just my sponge or if it's my liquid liner but it dries into the sponge very very quickly so for me to like coat this grab my mirror and then go like this. It's already dried out. For me, it would act more as 
a guide so I would recommend this hack to someone that's a beginner into eyeliner so here I just have my little triangle sponge I got this one from Kmart these are like really really affordable so that's great uh, it might be something you already have or something your mom might have in her collection so I'm gonna take my Colourpop BFF liquid liner in the shade black and I'm just gonna really coat the edge of this tip and then we're gonna line on our lash line and sweep you see that liquid liner has already dried out I'm just gonna go ahead and coat it one more time yeah, there we go it's a little bit more opaque and then I'm gonna do one from the bottom of my eye I think for me with liquid liner it's something you just practice and then you kind of get it you get used to it I could give you like a hack or technique for liquid liner I would say go in with your eyeshadow. So this is all I really can get out of this, um, just because it just dries so quick. Maybe if you were to use maybe a gel liner, that would work better, but she used a liquid liner and this is what I got. So I'm just gonna go in with uh, my black eyeshadow on an angled brush. This is the ColourPop E6. And I'm just gonna fill in that liquid liner. So you know what I mean? Like it does work as a good base. If, I think if you're a beginner, this could be something that you might want to look into. But for me, I don't really need a guide, I feel. I think eyeshadow is my guide enough. So again, coating it. Yeah, I'm just going to use my eyeshadow. <laughs> So the next hack is also an eyeliner hack. It is this one here. Pretty much what she does, she just like pulls her nose a little bit like this and then she'll use her eyeliner in the inner corners of her eyes. This will just give you more of like a defined cat eyed look in a way um, instead of like drawing fake inner corners because if your inner corners are hidden like mine then this is a really great way to define that area and I also see that Jenny from Blackpink she always has eyeliner in that inner corner there and it just makes her eyes look more cat eyed and defined and actually I did this hack on my TikTok and it's my most viewed TikTok I'll put it here it has like 300k views it's not like the most impactful TikTok either. There are just so many other TikToks that I put so much more effort into, like my outfit ones, um, that don't get as many views. So I feel like that's just the beauty of TikTok. Just shoot your shot, post anything because you don't know what's gonna hit. Like you really don't know. So um, I'm going to just pull my inner corner nose here and we're gonna tight line a little bit in the upper area and also in that lower region. And then we'll take a cotton bud and just smudge that out. So here is the difference. You can see just like the inner corner is more defined. It kind of gives me more like a cat eye shape in a way. I think if I had lashes on, it would look good. But yeah, that is the hat. The next hack comes from this lovely lady here. She shows you how to get a natural lash lift. So essentially what she does, she heats up her lash curler with a lighter, then she'll curl her lashes and then she'll take some black eyeshadow on an angle brush and press that into your lashes. And this will work really nice, I think, for an eye look like this where it's very natural. From this TikTok is when I started lighting up my lash curler. I know this isn't her technique because I've actually seen this technique a lot in K-Beauty. They always light up their lash curler. They also light up these like wooden sticks and like curl their lashes like that. That freaks me out. This is good enough for me and this hack really works. I think probably out of all the hacks, this is the hack that I have implied into my own routine every day because it makes such a difference. So you want to just light up the middle part, not the rubber part. So make sure you are just lighting up the middle part. And I like to go to the back and the front and you wanna let it cool down for a little bit because if it's too hot to touch by your finger, you shouldn't be using this to curl your lashes. And just heating up your lash curler is just going to hold up the curl for a lot longer and it's going to give you a better curl is what I've seen. It's just like curling your hair or straightening your hair. Give my lashes a good curl. Can you kinda see it? I don't know, I have like the shoulder slashes. I don't know what you can really see. So I like to 
light it up again for my other eye just because it cools down quite quickly. So now just going in with black eyeshadow on an angled brush, we're just going to coat our lashes. I'm probably just going to go ahead and apply mascara, I just want to show you guys the effect on my baby lashes. Can you guys see? I'm not sure, I don't think you can. I'm just going to go ahead and apply mascara, just a light coat. We won't apply falsies today. Let's go for a natural look today guys. Alright guys, so I'm actually going to go ahead and apply extra blush. I know I have that red lipstick blush, but I just think it looks so patchy. Like, I just have random red spots. I need to even this out. So this is a hack that I learned off TikTok. It's more of like a pro makeup artist tip. Um, pretty much she just says apply two fingers like this and apply your blush upwards because if you apply it too close down here, it's going to make your face look more droopy. We are going to do the two finger on the side of your nose and we're gonna apply up here two fingers and then apply I don't know I just see like remains of that red lipstick in like the most random area hope it looks better on camera than it does in person okay so the next hack we're moving into nose contour what she does she takes her highlighter first and highlights the bridge of her nose then she will contour with cream contour um, and she does a lot of these little tips and tricks highlight your nose first because if you mess up like it's easier to erase I think that's what she said um, so I'm using my fuego highlighter from dose of colors and we're just going to like really just go down the nose. I'm using a pencil brush as well. Love this. Then I'm going back into my cream contour concealer, the Pretty Fresh Concealer from ColourPop. And I will take a flat top brush like this. And then we're just going to press this next to that highlighter using that flat edge of the brush. And she said, if you want your nose to look longer, connect the contour to your brows and if you want your nose to look shorter connect it to your crease and then i'm just gonna take a very tiny fluffy brush like this and i'm gonna use this to blend out the contour and then she says to get your highlighter and then flare up your nose so something like all this and then you go, you highlight the side of your nose so that way when you look on the side, it looks it's still highlighted or something. I'll leave the TikToks down below. And then you want to just contour around that highlight on the button of your nose. Alright guys, so the last hack is this one here. It's more of like a lip combo combination rather than a hack but I have tried this and I really really like how it looks it makes your lips look very juicy plumpy and full and I just love the color of the lip combo so I'm just going to show you sort of my version I'm just using different products from her because I don't have the same I'm going to take my Colourpop Luxe Velvet Liquid Lipstick in the shade Air Kiss and we are going to apply this to the center of our lips And then I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Lip Lacquer Gloss in the shade Moody. This is an opaque gloss. And what we're going to do with this is just take it at the outer rim of our lips, kind of like lining our lips with this gloss. But then on the top lip, you want to make sure you are rounding out your cupid's bow, so just like running over it. And you do want to overline with this gloss. Alright you guys, so this is the final look using TikTok makeup hacks. I would love to know what you guys think of this video and if you would like to see a part 2 then let me know down in the comments and also give this video a thumbs up as well. There is just so many hacks on TikTok that I could do. Hopefully you guys were able to take something away from this video and thank you so much for watching. I truly do appreciate it. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!